Any fool can buy high and sell low. The wise man knows it's all in the timing. My friends, we see everything down for the day. We have had a week with the stocks just going up, 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 up. Until today, we see the NASDAQ 100 moving down the most, but we'll start with the S&P 500. It's down 0.66%. You can see down in the morning, further down in the afternoon, we still have a big strong up candle for the week. We have a decent two-day candle, again, not hitting the high of the prior two-day candle, but you can see things slacking there. And then, of course, on Thursday on the half-day chart, that's where we see the intraday movement. So we'll be keeping a close eye. Are things finally topping out? Not going to call that. We've seen this happen before, have we not? And then the market reverts to booting back up again. We can go back on this two-day chart quite a ways. We remember when we had this sideways slide. And again, what's beautiful about these charts, you notice that as I move things along, the other charts also move in sync with the time periods. Now, the one that flies the most is the half day and then the two day. And then, of course, the slowest is the biggest chart. But as we look, we can see where this latest move started on the 20th of March popped up for a few weeks, then slid sideways. And if you follow on this two-day chart, you can see some red down candles there and then boomed back up again. And of course, we see things slacking off right here, but nothing like this down candle back on the 6th of July. But you can see that it just kept going up. So we'll keep an eye on things and just see if this move's ending. At some point, it has to. I mean, markets move up and down and up and down and up and down. This has been a long up, which means there's potentially a long way possible down. We shall see. What about the NASDAQ 100? That's the one I was telling you has really fallen over 2.31% down in the morning, even further down in the afternoon. Got a doji there on the two-day candle, still above the weekly trend line on both of the smaller charts, the intermediate and the smaller chart. And on the large chart, again, we have a decent week still showing. So we are paying attention. We're seeing what's going on, seeing if we're going to have this bleed off and turn into a down move or just what. Now, what about bonds? We've been talking about bonds this week, how for two days, they were going up after going up for three days and then sliding sideways and then starting up again. This week, well, right now on the two-day chart, we've got a spinning top, almost a doji. Half-day chart, strong down movements morning and afternoon. And on the weekly chart, we can see that we're just above that prior trend line. Are we getting ready to move back down yet? Don't know. We'll wait. We'll watch. We'll see. The volume, pretty decent. Still have one more day to go, but you can see that the volume is just above the average already. So we'll see what happens on Friday. Let's move on to gold. Gold down a little bit for the day, about half a percent. You can see a spinning top in the morning, down some in the afternoon. And again, green up candle for the week. We see a green candle on the two-day chart, but not hitting the prior higher high. And we'll keep an eye on things. Volume below average like it has been for a while. So we'll see how gold ends up the week. We look at Bitcoin down 1.73%. Saw Bitcoin go down for two and a half days, slide sideways for a day and a half. And then, of course, down in the afternoon. We, of course, breached the trend line this week on the weekly chart with that weekly trend line. And on the weekly trend line on the two-day chart, you can see where we breached it on the Friday, Monday two-day candle and has stayed below it. So again, Bitcoin pulling back. Patreon members, I recorded for you last night and put up at the Patreon site three wave trades, those curated trades on liquid ETFs and stocks that we help follow for you every week. And also the charting cryptos, commodities, and currencies we put up for you there back on Tuesday when we recorded that. So it's there for you. Everyone else, 
We'll be putting out the chart in cryptos, commodities, and currencies tomorrow afternoon after we do the weekly review and forecast. It'll be up for you. And uh, the three-wave trades, well, that's proprietary stuff for our Patreon supporters. You want to know what Patreon membership's like? Well, join. First thing we'll send you the minute you sign up at any of the three levels is Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way. I think it's the best options training out there. Simple, direct, helpful, and can get you into options trading practice right away. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.